All right guys, welcome back to the brand new video today. As I promised day before yesterday, today I'm gonna show you how to file your own taxes for free. So without further ado, let's begin. And as always, it is so fantastic to see all your confident faces to file your own taxes today. Let's begin. So today I'm gonna to show you how I file my taxes and the software that I use to file my own taxes. So let's see, let's go to Chrome and I have it already open right here. So the software is called Simple Tax. As the name suggests, it's beautifully simple to file taxes with them. And one quick thing I'd like you to guys to know is that this software only works if you have filed your taxes offline before. So if you're doing it for the first time, you'll have to do a paper application and send it to the CRA and they'll upload like, and they'll make a, they'll make your profile on their website. Once that profile is done, so if this is your first year in Canada and you're paying taxes, it's uh, better to go and uh, file your taxes on through like a manual paper route. And for lots of you who are in college or who are new in Canada, you can file your taxes absolutely free from your college. Nine out of 10 times, there is a tax clinic in your college which helps you file all your taxes and does the same exact thing that you can do, but in a more professional way. And it is free it's because it's in your college, you've already paid for it. So let's see, open up Simple Tax as the name suggests, beautifully easy software to file your own taxes and you don't have to download anything. It is all online. So let's see, let's go to start and continue. And this will guide you through the process if you're new or if you have used simple tax before. So let's see, first name, Bhavan, Marchin. All right, so social insurance number. I'm gonna blur this out because if you try to put random numbers in here, it realizes that it's a wrong, like it's a it's an invalid social insurance number. So I'll have to use my own social insurance number and I'm gonna blur this out. All right, in which province or territory? As on December 31st, I was in Ontario. You have the list of all the territories right there. If you have changed provinces media, you need to mention that as well. I haven't changed anything, so everything is the same. Is your home address same as your mailing address? Yes. Currently, I'm residing in Ontario. So this is like a compulsory question. Single? No. Do you have any dependents? I guess not. <clears throat> And these are like the important questions you need to fill so that they can populate your software with the appropriate forms that you need to file with the, for the taxes. Let's see, do you own a foreign property? I do not. Did you dispose of your principal residence? I do not have a principal residence. Are you filing the income tax for the first time? Nope. Are you completing tax result for someone other than yourself? Nope. Are you a citizen? I am not. If you are a citizen, go ahead and select yes. Are you a person registered under the Indian Act? No. Were you confined in prison? I I hope not. <laughs> There's an option that would you be applying for Ontario Trillium benefits? So I, I'd say yes. Uh, I'll make another video if you guys like to or I'll leave a link in the description to let you know what an OTB is. It says that you have to sign in and make an account so that your data you filled in is not lost each time you log in. Go ahead and do that. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna sign in or make a new account. And you have two options as soon as you finish those questionnaires. First is autofill your return with information from the CRA. I use this most of the time. My CRA account is connected with Simple Tax. As soon as I click autofill my return, most, like 90% of my things are filled in automatically and don't even have to do anything. I just have to double check. But for the sake of the video, let's, uh, let's walk you through if you don't have a CRA account or you haven't connected it yet. And let's see, as soon as you click the search button, based on the questions you answered before, it gives you a populated list of what might you need to file your returns. Let's see, employment income T4. And this is the same as you saw from the T4 that I made in the last video. So let's see, employer's name is fake. Fake employer one. 
inventario, CPP, EI, both were done. Okay, so 14 was 20,000. Line number 16 is 7.58. Number 7. So these things weren't supposed to be taken. Like if you are not paying CPP, like if you are exempt from CPP and EI, and I thought these were the confirmations, so I clicked them, but there you see I'm learning as I'm making the video, so do not click that because these are not ticked here. So 20,000 there. It's good. So if you're working for one or more employer, you have the option to like put out two T4. So let's do that. Fake. So as soon as you click out of it, it is saved. Let's see what you have. So you were in school. So when you when you are in school, the tuition amount you have, the fees that you pay, you get a certain percentage on your tax credits. So that so that is form T two two zero two A, which can be found. You can you can request this form from your school or when you log into your online portal of your college or school, it can be found there. So let's say this year, were you post second in 2017? Yes, I was. Name of the slip is right there. Name of the course I say here. Financial planning. Tuition fees. Um, let's say I paid um, 30. Thousand number of months part time. So I was a full time employee. So eight months course. Do you have disability? No. So you can either transfer your credits to someone else, or you can carry forward it if you cannot apply it on your this year's tax. So let's see. So that is so far goes for the tuition to public transport. So nine out of ten, I think you guys would be taking public transport. So let's see. You you bought the public like the public transit pass which is the TTC in Toronto. So I put the oh, no. oh, paid hundred and forty for each month. I did not buy passes for like three months. So let's put uh, hundred and one thousand two hundred as my total amount that spent on public transit. Transit another three hundred there. And then we have, let's see what is next, not make any RRSP contributions because I'm an international student and it's a registered pension account. As an international student, you are not allowed to open registered account. So no RRSP for me, which is all right. Let's see. Donations and gift. I did a donation to a registered charity, which was United Way. And I paid five dollars from per paycheck, so I paid around like two hundred for that. I did not make any donations prior to that. No, nope. I eligible for the first time. No. And just scroll through the list, and if say for example you did some investments, it gives you exact like it, it gives it gives you explanation if you had interest income or dividend income. So it not only shows the main headings, but also gives you an explanation of what the in income was. Usually your bank sends you the T5, which you can fill it out from here. So if you have that, just same copy and paste the numbers in there. I have no investment, so let's forget that. No T5 for me. Let's see what's next. We have, thankfully I had no medical expenses, so that's good. I did not receive any insurance or other benefits, so not nothing for that. I don't have any scholarships. In a restaurant or in an industry where you are a server or like a bartender, this is like an important portion of the tax returns. Responsibility to report those taxes to the government. That is your income. The government is not gonna come after you for like $100 worth of tax tips, but it is generally a good idea to report your taxes, like to report your tips on, on the taxes. Let's see, I, I, let's say I made 500 in tips and um, I made 500 in royalties. So nothing was withheld and nothing was withheld. Let's see. If we go further, I don't have any commission or business. So none of that. All right. So it looks like that's about it that you need to know to file your taxes. 
this is like a very basic uh, a very basic income tax income tax file and if you have any doubts say for example you received a gift of say $500 should that be in the income or no the best way is the best way to check is just type gift there you go gift of capital property or you you give a gift or you got a gift just click on there everything is in there and looks like that's about it for a tax but you might notice one thing next to the tuition amount you have like a little red one which means that there's something missing on this amount so before you go ahead and file anything there you can see tuition amount just click that and it will show you what is missing tuition fees paid so let's repeat the whole fees before let's say i paid the whole fees before september 5 so let's put that in and now it looks like there is no errors in there let's go to the bottom and let's check and optimize so it when you check and optimize it says that if you have moved don't forget to change your address but looks like it's fine we have not moved all right so we have problems in the trillium benefits what is it oh no no so let's check and optimize again you have to agree to the terms and conditions of filing the taxes so i forgot to do that so let's go ahead and agree we will not save you unless you sign up i understand i don't want it to sign up all right so this is this is pretty much it your income tax return is filled and you can check everything here before you go ahead and actually file your taxes with net file with the cra and you can check everything on here you can see everything is it and you can also save the paper form of documents which the software actually like automatically organizes for you so you can see right here the t1 general the information that you filled in everything is here and once you are completely satisfied that this is the tax and everything is correct looks like i'm owing 300 dollars as of right now which is all right if i made money i i need to pay tax so let's go ahead and because this video was shot on 22nd of February when I shot the T4 video, NetFile hasn't opened yet. So NetFile is the program where you upload everything for the government. And because NetFile opens on 26th of February, what Simple Tax suggests is save a copy or save a PDF copy and then come back and then upload it on NetFile or Simple Tax. And once that is done, you'll have the option to go ahead and upload and submit your tax returns. And I think that's all right so that's about it you have uh, successfully filed your own taxes moment of pride and now you can you can go ahead and carry on with your life and if you found this video useful don't forget to hit that subscribe button because i'm starting a new video series where i'm going to talk about finances and things like how to understand your t4 which i already did how to file your taxes what is cpp what is rsp and what is tfsa things like that so that is coming in the future so if you want to be the first one to be notified about that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends who are still thinking if they want to file their own taxes or no, maybe they can make the jump. And just with that, I'm going to end the video right here. Uh, hopefully you guys have a wonderful, uh, wonderful tax filing experiences. And if you have any questions, don't forget to let me know in the comment section below. Twitter is the place where I reply the fastest. So you might want to just tweet, tweet me and you can also tweet at simple tax. So they also know. So if they have the answer and I don't, they can help you out. So all the links are in the description below. And I, I should stop talking and uh, you should go ahead and do your work. I should, I should leave. Thank you for watching.